today we will create similar animations which will react to color brightness from black to white and learn how to create unique grid designs. Also, we will try to add a CI topography to the grid. I think now it's one of the trends in motion graphics. Okay, let's go. Make a new composition, 1000, 1000, and call it main. Cool. And let's make second composition, 20 and 20 pixels, and call it shape one. Also, let's create a basic rectangle. Let's set a blue color and scale like this. And go back to the main composition. Let's create solid and add fractal noise. A little bit more contrast, upscale, set complexity to one and write this expression for evolution. Cool. Let's pre-compose it and code footage. Cool. Also, let's add mosaic effect. And here we need to write dimension of our main composition, divide dimension of shape composition. And it will be 50, 50, 50, and set sharp color. Cool. Go to the project and add shape one. Also, let's add a background solid and block it. Cool. Let's select shape one and set anchor point in the corner. Then we need to make position 0 and 0. Cool. Now let's add repeat tile effect. Repeat our composition. 980 and down 980. Too. Cool. Then we need to make a mask and select footage and add the main effect extract cool extract is a cane of gray scale and you can select any range of uh, of gray let's uh, make let's add um, 200 Cool, and, and now we have something like that. Not too interesting. Let's duplicate these compositions, select footage and make 199 and 150. And again, duplicate 159, 100. Again, duplicate. 2950 and 49 and 1 not 0 because we need a free black space okay cool now let's go to the project and duplicate shape 1 five more times then choose shape number 2 also choose that shape here and press option and just replace composition and next and next and also next cool now go to the shape number two and let's make more interesting shape like like this i want to make a plus Go back, go to the next shape, number 3, and let's make something like that, I think. 
Yeah, cool liners. Okay, champ number four. Let's make something like this. And shape number five, it's simple like a dot. Cool. And look at this, I think it's awesome. And you can go to the footage and make maybe something like that. And it will be more interesting. Also, you can use it as template. You can go to the footage and, for example, I have simple 3D skull. And so let's check. Nice. Also, you can change maybe colors. Why not? Yeah, cool. Or maybe you want to rotate it. Yeah. I think it's so flexible system and you can make everything what you want. So so let's talk about a CI typography. Mm, go to the shape number one and let's make a text layer. I use that font and you can download it in the description. Okay, I want eight and a bit bigger like that. So let's copy that. Shape number two. Mm, maybe maybe slash. Why not? Cool. Shape number three. Mm, maybe equal. Yeah. That's great. Go number go to shape number four and he will be hmm, minus yeah and go to shape number five and let's make just a dot right here okay let's check nice and this is a SCI typography and you can play with your footage. You can make anything what you want. It's so flexible and also you can change maybe tint, change color by tint maybe. Let's make something interesting. Yeah, or maybe green. Yeah, cool. In conclusion, it's a really good method to create such grids compared to the sample image expression. Here you have less layers and everything works faster. Also, you can easily control everything. You can create more duplicates and change the range in extract. Besides, instead of shapes uh, or types, you can use pictures like I did in the Minesweeper game. So, I hope you enjoy it. Subscribe to my channel for more videos like that. Bye!